Bad man can yeah, yeah. oh, oh. She already know I be one man mopo Come on my own Will you hold me down? Will you sing for me? Would you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Baby, smile for me. Me want love you. Me want love you. My dear, the Rose's family is here. Okay, okay. Her dad's dead. Dad. Yeah. I have never ever said no to you on anything before. But this, it's a no for me. Your decisions and arrangement does not go well with my person. I'm sorry, I can't. No. You can. And you will. Yes. Dad. Yes. You're taking this way too far. There is no way that I am going to agree to something that I know will make my life miserable. Come on, Sylvia. Of course.
whatever she wants to do, if you want to convince her, you must have to carry her along. Please, I want to beg you, allow her to make her decisions. And then, I think I love her philosophy. And I can't trust her. If she wants to accept me, I wouldn't say anything because she's perfect. See, if I was in her shoes, I would have reacted and behaved the same way. However, my parents have always told me that someday our families will live more on a common ground as in-laws. So I I believe that Sylvia is going to be my wife someday. It's, it's rather disheartening that things turned out this way. Please, I, I want to beg the both families to just respect her feelings. Let her be. Please. Oh my goodness. I'm enlightening the way Ben, my nephew, just spoke. And I want to beg you, allow your daughter to make her decisions. We have established good relationships. And I wouldn't want us to end it in a disastrous way. Please, I beg you. If it is the will of God that they are going to be together as we want, I know nothing will stop it. Alright, so shall we leave? Uh, would you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Sing for me. Would you give me Good morning, dear sister. Good morning. Hi, I'm okay. You look far different from what I expected. Like, what happened yesterday? I thought the devil was going to let loose. <laughs> well, let's just say that, you know, the table turned out in my favor. You mean the Rogers are mad at you? Ironically, no. Well, according to that, he said that um, the roses, especially Ben, respected my feelings and decisions and that I should be left alone. So, hey. Wow, wow, wow. Can wow. you stop? Wow, 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 wow. You sound like a siren. <laughs> Can you so happy for you? Thank you, my dear. I am so happy for me. Can you just imagine, like, somebody who can do it. It's insane. This was such a good thing. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Baby, smile for me. So sweet. I was going to tell you, Mr. Bagus. Hi there. He called to tell me of how wonderful you were. And he can't wait to work with you. I also can't wait for you to work with him. Dad, I can't wait also. <laughs> but why did you? because I wanted it based on merit. Yes, and this also goes along with talk about my philosophy about life. Mm. And that is why I went to a relationship with a man who's got great potential, self-made, rather than someone who leverages on his father's apple to be friends. That's right. And with this philosophy, you will go far. Of course, you'll be success. She will get a car gift. Yeah. That is two cars. Three. You haven't achieved until you Shush! Sure. Hmm. Did you hear your daddy? Achieve! Achieve! I will. Dad, yeah? Let me take you to the 
tell you a secret. Okay. She's planning a birthday party at the club with the friends. I'm really? going. You'll be where? You don't go anywhere. It's a know. secret. You're not supposed you to do You always know Cindy. Yes. Secrets. Of course. She's my dearest sis. Is mm. she? <laughs> dearest sis. Excitement about this morning. Mm. Mom, 
girls talk. Exactly. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I've made breakfast. Oh wow. That's good. After you. Yeah. I'm hungry. Like. Let me hold your ass. Let me tell you, daddy. Will you give me the kiss to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Yeah, I'm just thinking of making another one. Yes, ma'am. Would you give me the kiss to your heart? Mommy, the phone. It's Cindy. Oh, okay. Nobody kept something on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rabbi, yeah. left something on fire. Hello, dear. How are you? It's all right, my love. I'll see you later. Love you. Yeah. Would you give me the kiss to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Will you sing for me? Would you give me the kiss to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Baby, smile for me. Me want love you. Me want love you. Me want kiss your body. Me want touch you. Pat, what do you actually think you're doing? Picking that gray hair. Picking that gray hairs? Are you the one that's supposed to be doing that? Or I am the person that's supposed to be doing it. Mom, who is my daddy? Oh, really? Your daddy. Oh, really? Uh, better, better get up from there. Mommy, don't be jealous. What is it? Uh, don't be jealous, Mommy. Oh, wait. Didn't I say? Oh, oh so God. soon. Yes, Mommy. Oh, it's just a pity. Cynthia can join us. Why, while I'm here? She has to attend to something urgently. Really? We have to eat dinner with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I apologize. I'm not just really excited because I'm around you. And you know, initially I was skeptical that you wouldn't give me a chance to be close to you and nice to you, considering your family status. Would you 
you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Baby, smile for me. I am highly honored. It's time to know this young man that has stolen the heart of our angel. Yes. Well, my name is Adbimola Adekunle. I am an orphan, one who survived by a skin of the teeth. But I do not entertain any pity because I do consider myself to be a survivor. I have a, I mean, I graduated with a first degree from Obafemi World University in civil engineering. And then I went ahead to obtain my master's. Currently, I work as a senior manager at a very reputable contracting firm, FKJ Contractors, a position that I rose to in less than two years, having received three excellent awards. I do believe myself to be a one-man squad because I believe strongly in myself. I never ever leverage on the success of others. Mm. So I feel highly privileged to be here with your lovely family and really honored to be having this one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. But what I most cherish is how blessed you are to have such a beautiful, brilliant, calculating goddess as a daughter whose fantastic philosophies to life I highly admire. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I'm actually we're very glad that you accepted my invite. Thank you very much. Uh, please, let's eat. Yeah. Bon appétit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweetheart, well, the young man has quite impressive credentials. Mm -hmm. uh, he's handsome. Yes. He's hardworking. Mm -hmm. And from what I see, uh, he's a good boy. Well. And he is humble and respectful. But there's something I, I can't quite put a finger on. I, I can't quite understand. My spirit still doesn't accept him. And I don't think I will allow him to have a relationship with my daughter. I don't think I will allow that. Dad? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh. I had. Yes. I am serious about what I'm saying. Yes. Honey? Mm. Why? Well, I, I don't feel very comfortable about him. I um, There's something I can't quite I can't quite put a finger on. So I wouldn't allow him to have any relationship with my daughter. Oh, I just can't. Accept. I'm sorry, Dad. darling, but I can't. Dad? Yes. I, I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, I have to protect you. Uh, there's something, something my spirit is uh, against. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry.
I would consider myself to be highly privileged if you both could be the father and the mother that I never had. And if you could also shower on me the fatherly and motherly love that I have always craved for. It's all right. Thank you very much, sir. And, um, well, secondly, sir, I would be leaving your blessing because I would be going for the Abuja Kaduna Road construction project. Wow. Okay, sit down. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, here she oh. is. <laughs> Hi, daughter. How are you, darling? Okay, okay. sir, man, we'll, we'll be on our way now. That'll be good, okay. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, take it easy, right? Have fun. I will. See you guys soon. Be careful. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Are you alright? Huh? My boss and mentor. What brings you to my house, sir? I was 
in the neighborhood, so I just stopped by to say hello. <laughs> but see, I, I, just sit down, sir. I don't know you with drugs, so what is happening? <laughs> Why do you use your usual sign? Sir, if you hear the news, yes. As if you hear the good news, the amazing news, you lose your mind. No, 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 you are, you are talking mad. What is it? Do you want to know? Of course. <laughs> it is settled. What is settled? As in it is a dumb deal. Hey, Demula, what are you talking about? Quit the suspense and tell me what's driving you mad. Okay, okay, calm down, sir. I will tell you. Do you know mm. that Mr. Lucas Yes. Has accepted my relationship. Wait, wait. I didn't say the right way. He has accepted my marriage to his daughter, Cynthia. Oh my God! You don't say. I'm sorry. I was carried away with uncontrollable excitement. He has also granted me his blessings to go for the Abuja Cardinal contract. Oh my god. Dear mother, yes. you are a blessed man. I know I am blessed. Sir. Please say it again. You are a blessed I man. Am blessed. I know, sir. <laughs> but honestly speaking, yes. I cannot take all the glory. Because if not for your mentorship and the wise counsel you've been giving me, <laughs> I would not have made it this far. So I say thank you very much. You are welcome. You are welcome. Are you, glad? you know what this contract to do for us, right? I know. I'm glad I invested in you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Let me get Oh, come on! Yeah, bring it off! Champagne! 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 Oh, my stuff! Cheers, cheers, cheers! 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 Senator Chief Lucas mm. introduced me to all his friends who happen to be movers and shakers of this country. And in fact, some of them happen to be members on the board in the executive council that awards road contracts. He told them what I do. <laughs> oh, yes. Out of 15 of them who were present, two of Assured me of their boots. Ah, you will have this good news. I want to fight. Bro, by the time I win this contract for my company, FKJ Contractors, I'll be on the road to becoming the managing director of FKJ Contractors. Hmm. Even my mentor is going to be in the same level. You know what that means? I will be in control of the world of this. I bet the mother chest to that. The mother chest to that. Would you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Will you sing for me? Would you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Touch your body, let me know you better. Let me hold your waist, let me tell you, daddy. 
Oh, sir, so I have gone very far. Good, because uh, in a couple of days, the names of the uh, contracts our will be announced. And, uh, we're hoping that that will be I do believe the right word to use is that the ball has been set rolling. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we both know the rules of the game very well. I would like to say that the ground where it's been played is in my domain. <laughs> you can say that again. Well understood. Yes, sir. Because as it stands, so Mr. Lucas and his friends, the caliber of Mr. Lucas, and his friends behind you, you are in Domitel. I definitely am in <laughs> I definitely am. Yeah, all I had to do was to confirm. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's in sync as well. Because uh, conformity is a rule of the game when it comes to politics and contracts. Oh yes. It's a fundamental rule, foundational rule <laughs> all over the world. You always say that. So I congratulate you in advance. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So let, let me start, let me go on my let me be on my way right now. No problem. No problem. I'll see you. Thank you, sir. Take care. All, right. all the best. Stop! 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 
Stop blowing things out of proportion. Look, I am not going to feel comfortable staying here until your father does the right thing. My love, I've spoken to my mom. She promised that she would talk to my dad and things will be sorted out. Please, don't do this. Not now that we're expecting a baby. There's no problem with a baby. Your parents and I will make sure the baby is well taken care of. But right now, I need to go somewhere so I can clear my head and find a solution to this problem. Babe, I need you! The your father had given his total support. That's what I told as well. Please. We talked to father. I don't want to have issues in my marriage. It is either you crash or you become a puppet to your teacher and learn safely. The this is a game. Just what are you the way you look right now? Yes, the mother. Listen, I put it to you, but Mr. Lucas knows what he's doing. He wants you to look like a failure to sit there. Especially now that I'm expecting. <laughs> expecting a child? Good news! This is perfect. Thanks, it's alright. Everything will be fine. He's my husband. I'll talk to him. Wipe your tears. Pretty. Wipe your tears, give me a smile. I am so happy. So Cynthia can see you uh, like a failure uh, and then abandon you. Happy Mona. Something funny about him? Yes, uh, there's something I can't place a finger on. It, it's, it's just there. Uh, it's, it, it's a nagging feeling. What, honey? You did a background check on this boy and found out that everything is true. He's a respectable young man. He's smart, he's intelligent, and he's a go getter. I know all that. All these don't matter to you. If not, you will not hesitate in giving your total support. Calm down, honey. Calm down. Calm down, sweetheart. Calm down. Things don't work that way. Honey. Yes. Please do this for them now that they expect a child. What? What did you say? They're expecting a child, a grandchild. They're expecting my grandchild? <sighs> okay. Do that tomorrow. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. I did that too much. Thank you, I love okay, you. Thank you. Will you sing for me? Would you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Baby, smile for me. Me want to love you. Me want to love you. You won't kiss your 
Hello? Baby, baby, please come home. We miss you. I am calling to give you a very important information. Like that, okay? Just come home and we can sort things out. Go to the living room. You'll find a flash drive there. Go through it. Now listen very carefully. Your father's votes will determine how the content of that flash drive will be treated. Babe, I know you're not happy. Why don't you come home? Let's talk about it like husband and <laughs> you just be on standby. Very soon, a tornado is going to hit the Lucas family if they do not do as I have demanded. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Bye. Talk to Demola. Demola. This is a sex tape of me. Are you telling me or you're asking me? How and when did you do this? Irrelevant question. Did I even do wrong to deserve this? More irrelevant question. What am I supposed to do with this? The most irrelevant question. Now listen very carefully, my dear. Nothing is going to stop me from achieving my goal. If your father does not give me his votes, which happens to be the last vote needed for that contract to be awarded to my company, before 12 noon tomorrow, that sex thief would go viral. Do not dare me. How can you, how can you do this? Respectful man turned out to be callous. Oh, so he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Could it be what your dad sense from the onset? Ah! Oh! <laughs> 
something we can discuss over the phone. Come right home. This is preposterous. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was something wrong with that show. I, I, I couldn't put a finger on it. But you forced me. You forced me to accept that vermin, that idiot, that nobody. And you blackmailed me into allowing him marry my beautiful daughter. Who? What was he expecting to do? That is crazy. Yes, I'm sorry. Mm. Honey, we didn't see it coming. Really? Honey, we can watch him ruin our daughter's life. Oh, really? Honey, <laughs> please. Please do something, I beg you. What do you expect me to do? Honey, please sign the document. I will never, ever sign it. I will never allow that young man black man. Daddy, don't, don't do this, please. For Cindy's sake, please do it. Daddy, please. I'm a boss. The child has a lot to benefit in the future. So what? So what? So what? So what? Never! I will never! Be blackmailed by a vermin, by an idiot, by that young man without pedigree, without a name. Never will that happen. <laughs> no. No. Who? Who would make a sex video of the wife? Who? Who could do that? Yeah, oh no. Yes. I need to see you face to face, yes. Um, my, yeah, a bit of a nasty situation. Someone is trying to play with my family. Okay, I'll come in and see you. Sweetheart, you're all dressed up. Yeah. Mom. Yes. Dad. Yes. I have decided not to sit here and cry my heart out. What that bastard! Is busy killing my career and my life. I want to fight for this. What do you want to do? I want to release the sex tape. Cynthia? What? Release the sex tape of yourself? Do you know what that means? Mom, I know what it means. Relax, please. I do this with what I have planned out. I will draw sympathy to myself. That way, I become the victim and him the villain. I want to fight fearlessly. Please, sure I have to go. Yes, Mom, I know what I'm doing. I'll ask, I'll see you so later. Be careful. But let everybody just be on standby because once it clocks 12 noon, a very scandalous news will be all over the TV and social media platforms. 
<laughs> oh yes. Uh, hold, let me call you back. My boss just came in. I've been calling your office line all day and it wasn't picked. Oh, I'm, I'm totally sorry, sir. I'm really sorry. Um, the thing is, I just I left the office to come to the lounge and try to clear my head. Just relax for a while. Um, what's really going on? I mean, you're sitting so comfortably. How um, um, come? Uh, you're losing grip of our, of our plans. As it is, the votes have been counted. And by this time tomorrow, if Mina will emerge for the road network uh, construction uh, contract nationwide. Um, but you are here sitting so comfortably <laughs> and uh, making calls for some press release as if you were some lord of an empire somewhere. I don't understand. I don't oh, get please, it. Please, please, sir, just calm down. Everything is perfectly all right. I don't get it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling comfortable at all. So believe me when I say everything is perfectly. I've got our plans covered. Really? Please stop bugging yourselves, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I thought uh, by now I should be seeing some members of the board, including uh, Mr. Lucas, who, who's been there for you. It's fine, He's sir. rooting for our company. It's okay, sir. It is properly handled the way it should. If you say so. Then. Yes, sir. You are welcome to another special package of your mind-blowing live TV show, Dare to Speak Up. I am Sharon Eze, and today's special episode will blow your mind. Our special guest today is a beautiful woman with a heart of gold, who recently made a great mark in her career as a lawyer by winning one of the toughest cases of our time and getting justice for the downtrodden. She's also the daughter of a multi-million dollar business owner. And welcome with me, Cynthia. Please introduce yourself better and tell us your story. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Cynthia Adekunle. I am the daughter of Mr. Lucas Akintola. I'm married to Mr. Dimola. Well, I fell in love with my husband. We're so in love. Oh, yeah. What And against all odds, it's going we got married. Wow. Well, you see, my husband, is a contractor and he was running for one of the contracts on the Abuja Kaduna Road. So before and after our marriage, my father introduced him to all his affluent friends, the politicians, even the senators. He finally introduced my husband to even the board of directors in charge of the road constructions in Nigeria. They all had a meeting and casted their vote for my husband. See, I built my wall around my husband. I loved him. I respected him. I did everything that a woman would do to please his husband. Oh, well. One day my husband came home. making him so mad <laughs> but he said that my father had refused to cast his own vote which was the only vote left for him to be awarded the contract I persuaded him I begged him I told him to be patient and everything will be okay and we we're gonna sort it out but no he was so upset he left the house but when he did he told me that he had he dropped the drive for me and that I should watch. This drive here is what I want the world to see.
As you can see in the video, my husband had paid two guys who drugged me and did a sex video of me so that everyone could think that I am a sex freak and a drug addict. Hmm. Well, he promised to make this video go viral by 12 noon today. My father does not cast his own votes. Whoa! Oh. Daddy! I'm so pleased. That is my beloved daughter. <laughs> yes, so that is exactly the plan that I have for the Abuja Kaduna Road construction. I hope you've received the files now. Yes, yes. We'll make it one of a kind in Nigeria. They want to end that call this minute and check the social media platforms and see how you're in control. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Adekule Ademola. One of the guys who you contracted to do one of those sex videos confessed. Oh, yes. You see, he's one of the elder brother of the girl who I fought for. And I won the case without even charging her a dime. Now I can see how you have everything covered. And why you have been stalling on all our plans. You mess up every hard work we put in place to get the contracts. Well, as you can see, Mr. Demola, I have enough evidence to put you in jail for the rest of your miserable life. How could you? You would try to blackmail your own wife, a lady who turned things around for your good, with her father's affluence and influence. And that of his friends. Are you some sort of demon or what? Demola Adekunle, you are finished. You have messed up every plan that we had in place. This action of yours, this barbaric action, is tantamount to wizardry. And I'm glad that I was never a part of it. Tell me, how can a man stoop so low to blackmail his own wife? This is my story. And thank you for having me on the show. This is such a touching story that everyone out there should learn from. It is appalling that a husband can do this to his wife, who just loved him and gave him a better state through the affluence of her family. I think wickedness runs in some people's veins rather than blood. Anyway, we'll go on a break right now. When we're back, we'll receive your reactions to her story. What are you doing over there, Pat? You're not I'm happy. Not happy. Oh, of course I'm happy. I mean, I'm proud of her. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay, baby. So much, baby. Okay. Maybe that's her own way of showing her own happiness. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I can't wait for her to return to the house. I'm so, I'm so, so pleased. I am so one of these. Thank you for your support, too. Thank you, girl. How oh. can you go against the Lucas family? That is like going to the stream to fetch water with a basket. If you ever have a chance to start your life and career again, all over, I'm sure you will learn to do it right. I'm more than disappointed in you.
has made us proud with what she did. Yes. To stand up to that criminal. Mm -hmm. Yes, we must. Mm -hmm. oh. So you begin to plan it. Yeah, I will. Oh, oh, sit yes. back. In oh, Cynthia, what was that for? That was for betraying me and the Lucas family. What are you talking about, sweetheart? Pat, what is going on? I don't know, Mom. You don't know? You don't know, really? Mom. Yes? Dad. <laughs> well, it would interest you to know that this idiot has been working with Demala. Why not? <laughs> hmm. What? Oh Are you going to confess now before I pounce on you? Please. I'm sorry, girl. I won't talk. I'll talk. Cindy, don't, please. Don't, okay? Please, please. please Sweetheart, please. don't do anything stupid. Yeah. Start talking. Demola the, 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 the and I were dating. Hmm? And then he asked me to introduce him to Cindy. Come on, baby. You know I'm doing this for us, right? You know that. I know. But it's insane. I'll introduce you to Samia. Use her and the family to get the contract. But after which you don't have to. Okay, fine. Baby, you have to promise me. What? Promise me that you keep to my word. You won't leave me. My love. My darling. How is it possible that I would leave my heart? Is it possible? Say my name again. Timola. Say my name again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Mm. I love it, baby. What? What? I'm sorry. No. We brought you into this family as a daughter. You often. We took you in at the age of eight. Showered you with so much love. People don't even know we're not your biological parents. How could you do this, oh, Pat? I'm sorry. Sorry? Oh my God. You just said sorry now. Jeez. After all the love we showered on you in this house, you did all this. You are just a demon. That's what you are. Yes. yes. Please, I beg you to allow me. Do what I need to do now. He's to bring this family. But you get it all. I leave this house. Yes. Okay. Where do you think you're going to? When? When you came into this house, you came with a ton school uniform. And then we brushed you off. Yet you had the heart to backstab me. Right? You will leave the same way you came. Leave if I kill you! Now get out! Get out! You bloody wretched girl. The world is a terrible place. Oh, yes. Bad man, gay, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. She already know. I be one man mopo, come on my own. Ah. Would you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Will you sing for me? Would you give me the keys to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Baby, smile for me. Me want love you. Me want love you. Me want kiss your body. Me want touch you. Me want love you. Yeah, me want love you. 
Me want touch your body, me want kiss you, baby. You oh, ah, ah. You give me special kind of feeling. Girl, I want to love you like like Titi la oh oh. Baby, give me what we want. Let me take you out closing you. You touch my body, spirit, soul, and body. You make me whole once again, oh. Baby, for your love, I go cross any mountain. Just for your love, I go do anyhow, yeah. Let me touch your body, let me know you better. Let me hold your waist, let me tell you, daddy. Yeah. Will you give me the kiss to your heart if you love me? Will you hold me down? Will you sing for me? Would you give me the kiss to your heart when you love me? Will you hold me down? Will you smile for me? Me one love you. Yeah, me one love you. Me one kiss your body. Me want touch you, 